Well, right now, right now, the talk is that uh, Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi is on the top. But then we cannot quickly jump to conclusion right now. Um, votes are being collated right now and INEC is doing what they, um, they, they are supposed to do. Hopefully they do the right thing. Now, are you not surprised at the turnout? In fact, from the polls and from what we saw, Nigerians are resolute. You see, I'll tell you the thing. I'll tell you this for free. You see, Buhari is actually the man that broke the camel's back. He is the person that woke Nigerians up. Yes, Buhari. Buhari knew what he was doing. He came in to do nothing. So that you will realize that you need to take your destiny right now. Just look at it. Now, a lot of um, talks who could slip past security came out, broke into polling units and stole ballot boxes shot sporadically they did a lot of very terrible things yes but do you did, don't, don't you see did you not see it that people came out even with all what they've done to still come and vote again after they've been injured they still came out like you know what this vote i will cast it gone are those days when people will run and uh, they will kind of um, be afraid of their lives so much like this now let us quickly watch this short clip you know, the north of Nigeria, according to what we know, is a difficult terrain for Peter Obi, being that he's from the southeast of Nigeria. Doesn't matter if he has someone who is a vice from the um, north, but you know how difficult this can be. Paul Ahmed Tinubu himself, he knows, he knows that Labour Party presidential candidate Peter will be coming in is a game changer. It actually turned and twisted. In fact, he wasn't planning for it. He wasn't planning for it. He was not planning for it. It became a load on his neck that he needed to fulfill, that he needed to lift away. He wasn't planning for it. Labour Party became a game changer because if Peter Obey had stayed with Atiku, and they repeated the same thing. Bola Metunubu would have, um, you know, kind of found a way to go around it. It would have won the hearts of certain people because people don't want to go for Atiku. But Peter Obi realized this. He decided to stand on his own, chose Labour Party, and everywhere scatter. Everywhere scatter. Nigerians in diaspora, majority of them are in support of Peter Obi. Peter will be, from what I'm seeing, will get majority of the votes in the southeast of Nigeria. Votes are coming in. We are seeing it. In the north of Nigeria, he might not get as much as Atiku or get as much as APC presidential candidate. He might not get as much as they, but he's going to get sizable amount. As you can see, look at the northerners because they know they have their brother too there. Labor, Abel, Labor. Can you hear them chanting and screaming? That is because... They, they've come to realize that uh, you know, if you are an Awusa man or you're in the north or Fulani, whatever you are, your suffering has nothing to do with your tribe. Suffering is everywhere. People feel that they need to do the right thing. They are afraid should Peter will be stepping there. That is if he's going to do the right thing. You know, foreign exchange where, you know, dollar, pounds, euro, and the rest of those currency to Nigerian currency is now something that you cannot even, uh, you know, believe. You know, Peter B, once he steps in there, according to what he has highlighted from what he has presented, hopefully it goes on if he wins. Exchange rate is going to drop. That is it. Exchange rate is going to drop drastically. It's going to do all. Hopefully he can implement this and not keep money like he did in Anambra State only. Implement and make sure that these things work. Things will change. Now, on the part of... Uh, Bola Tinubu, people are not clear. They know that Bola Abame Tinubu has done excellently to a point. Yes, the Lagos that many people 
are sitting down comfortably at this time is a place where Bola Mehe Tinubu had done some things to make it that way. There are some states, there are some locations in Nigeria that you cannot stay, you cannot live in. Not because Bola Mehe Tinubu is the hall and all, but he had, you know, somehow laid down the pathway for the comfort that a lot of people are enjoying in Lagos to an extent compared to other parts. You see? So, we cannot um, remove that part of it from him. But look at him. He's old and um, people are kind of weary of this, you know, old men that are corrupt. You see? Old and corrupt. It, it, it is something that uh, it, it does not gladden the heart at all. It makes people sad. Old and corrupt. What are you going to offer? Huh? Now, we are not saying that if you are young and corrupt, it is better. But we are just saying that it is collateral damage when you are old, you are corrupt, you cannot take action, you, your, your, your inaction, your corruption, your everything. It's just like a load on the, on the necks of the people. Anyway, um, I think on the other side, they said we should not even talk about him. We should not even look at him. And there is nowhere to be found in this. That this race, this competition, this, this, this election is between APC, Bola, Tinumbu, and Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi. Exactly. Exactly. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, it's a good thing. Anyway, um, everyone is um, kind of... Um, fingers are crossed. Fingers are crossed. From now till tomorrow, finally, election results will be announced. Whoever is, um, is, is going to be the president of Nigeria, you will find out. You will know. And everyone will rest. And we'll wait for the next eight years. Let us see what they will do. Yes, pastors, majority of them, they say they've prayed for Peter Obi. They support Peter Obi. Let us see if their prayers and all that uh, they claim that they have, the spiritual abilities, let us see if it's going to work on Peter Obi. Yes, let us see if it's going to work on Peter Obi because uh, this Muslim Muslim ticket of uh, Tinubu did not go down well with many of them. Not because... Uh, Muslim Muslim ticket uh, means that uh, Nigeria is now going to turn to a Muslim country. Although maybe there are some benefits here and there. I don't know for Muslims. But the truth is this. These politicians, at the end of the day, not because religion is not important to them. At times you go to a place because you are a Muslim. They give you um, whatever it is. Uh -huh. Tribe is also important. But we will see. We will see because uh, being a Christian, in quote, in, in bracket, a Christian, it does not mean we have a lot of Christians who are politicians and they are criminals. We have Muslims who are politicians and they are criminals also. So, what are your thoughts about this one? Let us know in the comment section below. This, um, you know, um, this couple of the, this couple of hours and the next couple of hours that we are going to get into, um, it's going to change the course of Nigeria. I mean, it's going to change the direction of Nigeria. That is the truth. That is the reality. Do not forget to like and share this video. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new here. See you in the next video.